All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut looked good. So we just thought we'd kick back and relax. It's becoming a little bit more wintry in the UK. We've got the fire on. And we thought I'd just read Jacko a bedtime story. Chuck another log on drives, because actually I'm, I'm cold, I think, because I've got a vest on. Hey, get some more clothes on, mate. It's winter. Anyway, that wasn't the Gruffalo. It was, that's the October Graduates, the book of October Graduates. I am actually looking forward to seeing the Gruffalo's Muscle Up graduation, which I'm hoping you've got for me in this video role, Jack. Well, I can't promise the Gruffalo, but I can promise you some amazing students. And there's a particularly special one or two that you just might recognise who potentially redefine, don't leave me hanging, they're impossible this month. So with no more ado, or no further ado. Over to the boys. Let's you know, you know how the graduates roll. This is a bit blue in here, look. It's naughty. This photography boys, think it that way. Let's watch the graduates. That was nice, wasn't it? What are you two blokes doing? Oh, don't worry. There's no such thing as a gruffalo. I can't believe Tim let you do that. <laughs> we need to get two points. Oh, back in. <laughs> Just create a little bit of order. Yes. Two, if it, yeah. Things are getting wild. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's, with, as you said, no further ado, and I've got a very special one for you, Tim, to kick things off. Check this out. Right, who's that? Who's Who that? is that? Now, you stuck this one on. <laughs> Tim <laughs> Stevenson. What a treat. You stuck this one on, and I was not entirely ready for it to be shared. The official rules are if your the graduation is relevant or, or passes if you de if you're happy with it um i took it upon myself to say that we're happy with it tim isn't you happy are. fully with it yeah. but this is something you've been working on and it was well let, let me just play the yeah let me play the whole graduation. thing <laughs> someone's liking it yeah i was yeah, like yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. nailed it bad line and then we could have just, there's your hand sign. We could have stopped the video there, but we were, we're having a great little play session. Yeah. Hand sign push ups come free these days, Jacko. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from belt at the top. I've got to be excited. Now, wait, wait. That's ex and that's exactly, wait, watch. <laughs> that's exactly what you said. The, end. Um, the reason I was, I'm hesitant on this one, don't pause the jack camera there, Jacko. It's a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just wind ourselves back out of there. Uh, sorry, <laughs> stop there. Um, <laughs> The reason it wasn't, I wasn't entirely sort of happy with it is because for me, the impossible of that is from the floor. However, that is somewhat of a That is a step towards the yeah. floor. It's, it's positive. I haven't done absolutely nothing with it since. Okay. Well, um, but I might revisit it at some point. It just requires a fair amount of mobility work to begin with. But the strength is there, which is positive. Yes. Strength, and what the underpinning of strength is there. And I want, what I thought was nice was two things that were really nice to show. One was you redefining your impossible, which is lovely for people and inspiring to see. And then, and bearing in mind, literally, we need to get some old videos out where you couldn't do a handstand at all yes. to just sort of show what the progress that's come from. Um, and then the other thing was how uh, the response afterwards, like us high five and you laughing as you fall over. Like that's, I remember that session we were having, we were genuinely having, it was a fun, it was a play uh, session and interesting that the in Redefine Your Impossible, you know, that was the first time you'd done that, that came out of one of those play sessions. So yeah. it reinforces that. Sometimes you just have creating some time where to be creative. Really where you can never play around and just see what happens. Exactly. Good. Right. Well, thank you for that, Jacko. We'll get into the meaty stuff. Uh, there's, a, there's a nice selection of um, different little stories and things going on. I know that uh, you often like um, oh. you like a home gym setup. That is, a, is that a loft? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes one of the difficult things that people have with a muscle up is either the ring or the bar is like they haven't got the roof space. Not a problem for Ryan. Right, and then you can also, every Ryan, time you do a muscle up, you can get up there and see how much cleaning out you need to do. That's my loft. <laughs> exactly. And, but you haven't got a loft ladder, which would get in the way. There's a couple of nice things on. One, obviously, the ring muscle up he ends up doing. Two, there's a number of checking of the, just, just watch how he looks at the camera, how he's checking the camera. And I'm pretty certain Ryan P, uh, there's a Ryan P in the virtual classroom, so I'm assuming this is, this is so. the same Ryan P. Um, Checking the camera. Oh, he's got a loft ladder. I stand corrected. Checking the camera. There's a lot of eye contact on the camera. Oh, yeah, a little yeah, smile. Because right. he knows what's this, coming. He's like, this. you're going to love this. Boom. Oh, What's your head? I would have preferred that, Ryan, if he'd actually gone into the loft. 
I think he is. Yes. <laughs> and then the little celebration. He could probably adjust the ring slightly higher so he does get yeah. into the loft. Send us another one where you actually <laughs> go into the loft and you can pop your head up and see where your Christmas decorations are. I actually said to my, my sister um, was, having her, had a, was having a whole house redone and they took out the stairs at one point. And I said, why don't you just not put stairs back in and either put a rope or um, grips to like I've climb. seen houses like that. One house, like she's got a little boy. I was like, how good would he be if you never allowed... Yeah. And think of all the money you'd save on new stairs. Yeah, so what you're saying to me is I actually need to replace my loft ladder. So potentially... But With a rope, yeah. Or some rings. Yeah, there could be difficulty when you've got to move stuff in and out. Yeah, and also getting off the rings into the loft. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. I'm not sure it's going to take off. We'll, we'll get in touch with B&Q. We think I would just... All the money you'd save, you could probably buy... You'd uh, probably get... Say, 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 say a set of ladders cost you... Uh, what, 500 quid? No. A loft ladder? I hope not, because mine's oh, broken. Oh, I was thinking of like full stairs. All oh, right. Let's move on. Yeah. I was just thinking that it probably equate to a year in the virtual classroom. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone wants to send me a loft ladder. <laughs> now, Retro Robbie. We know Robbie oh, is, he's not a first time, is it? Retro well, Robbie's been on the graduates role. So one of the things I personally love about um, the graduates video is not just the redefining the impossible of the final thing is a step along the way. So... Robbie, member of the virtual classroom, he has been working on his frog tandem for a long time. And there was a period where it would have felt impossible for him to even do a frog stand at the beginning and certainly take one leg off. He's at the point now where he's taking two legs off and trying to get up into that chair. And this is a first, so this is a first time. So nice stacked high position, knees off, oh, stays there. Yes. And he's fishing for that position. But that is a, you know, anyone that's tried to do literally the frog stand and, and taking your knees off, taking one off or two, knows that that is a big yeah. leap forward in the process. Keep getting strong. The good times are coming. Nothing more to say. Well done, Robbie. Right. Dog star photography. Um, apologies for, I should have researched. He came to a workshop um in, down in um on the south coast and had a lot of issues with his shoulder and he's had that was over a year ago so he's had like a, a ton of time out injured with shoulder pain uh, impingement seen loads of physios couldn't get it sorted doing his mobility work in sky has, has taken him to the to the point of he's pain free now and his training is all of a sudden starts to well go off and then check out his back lever Oh. Wait, 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 straighten down, flan, flan, flan. Oh, right, look, there, there, bang. Look at the correction, the strength on the man. That, that is a hold, nice that hole. is a hold, that well is done. a, um, and literally, it's not, it's not, hard. it's not easy, sorry, when someone, it's good to get those cues from someone, but it's not easy to make that readjustment, so uh, midsection strength in that position, beautiful, good and work. off the back of a hell of a lot of shoulder issues and pain so it's great to see him pain free and now redefining is impossible Sounds like he's got a good pro bro there as well <laughs> yeah helping him. i'd have liked to see his mate to like give him a bit of clap or a bit of like excitement it was once he very, hit the line it's a confident prompt wasn't it too low <laughs> yes <laughs> not even his mate just when you're trying to do a bench press so you just feel me mate doing this so, maybe that's supportive very good like that one. next up oh. samson got strong name on. yeah it's Fully, fully fledged Can member. You get them shorts from Cali Move. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he, I know where he got those. Uh, where he got that vest I from. I know where he got that vest from. So it's we he, we taught him. You did actually it's on his beautiful. birthday, his first yes. ring muscle put workshop. So now I think he does maybe four or five. Is uh, is where the record is at. So he's keeping the control on the way down to maintain false grip. And See, then boom. Is, I'm just gonna. Oh, good work, Samson. I like the outdoor wall mounted pull up bar. A few people have been speaking about those. It's a strong thing. And it's not great for the winter. It's a strong setup. For the summer, a wall mounted bar, which means you've got your head height for muscle ups. You're not sort of restricted indoors. Super stable. I think it is a great chain option. And also, if you haven't got a load of space to be able to put a big rig outside. Yep. We have those available from our partner, Gravity. Uh, Gravity Fitness on our website. So check them out if you do want a wall mounted pull up bar. Um, Works, Samson. It's looking smooth. Penultimate one. Nosebleed. It's only a few years ago that I learned what penultimate meant. So I like to use it whenever I can. Um, it means the second to last. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to get that wrong then. 
<laughs> I used to, I don't know what, I think I used to just think it was another word for last. Anyway, um, Nosebleed. He's been on before. Um, and he is, this is his first ever, and he was absolutely pumped. Uh, loved to the message that he sent. So, first ever handstand push up. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello. Uh, no, 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 no. So, the, he said that the frog to handstand still, um, so he, he's done some wicked work on his full handstand. He's now got a handstand press up, um, and he probably just wants to keep working on that control. But he does want the frog to handstand, and it still just eludes him a little bit that middle that middle section. So there's some some work to be done, just the time on the on the lat link piece, that inverted chair position. Um, spend some time there, make that a nice stable position, and then you got the three stages: you frog that and the full. You've done well to get a handstand push up before before you can do a frog. So handstand. I think it means he just hasn't done enough work on that middle section and some yeah some starting strength, do some pause reps in there, and your handstand push up work against the wall just to get you moving. Off the ground. Good though. I like that. Could probably do the bit better lighting in the gym. <laughs> I think I'm missing some bulbs. And also that yellow paint. <laughs> you not like the yellow paint? Doesn't yeah. go with the with the uh, the blue. I know. Right, we'll move on because that doesn't necessarily matter. Big, get a bigger mirror. And the final one. Oh, who's this? We recognize this guy. Ah, well, we found out recently in a recent podcast that um, you have to take your pod, you have to take your shirt off to be more natural. Wasn't it something about that? I think you might yeah, more than natural word. I think it's because it's going to be filmed, and <laughs> you like having your shirt off when you're going to be filmed. Check this out. This isn't pretty, but but you didn't f- smash yeah, it in the ground. I finally got the Kahuna's to go back into oh, my back bridge. Yeah. Um, skip there, Dave. <laughs> yeah, because no, I was I was well happy because I was partly worried about you know this is there's eight more seconds of celebration coming. Sure. Oh yeah, no, actually, yeah, I come up and um. All right, so, yeah, this is ab shot, is it? No, no, oh. I'm, like, I'm pumped. <laughs> um so yeah no it was uh, of, a, of a previous head injury victory but it's probably not uh, you know, the, the last thing i wanted to do was land on my head so um the, the, mis- the interest <laughs> i'm taking away from this jacko is um the slightly close-up shot you finished on my groin and that picture of you you've, you've, you've shown us in our best light in this video I and, uh, well we can uh, we can drop back out of this sober graduates so there we have them what a selection I that's my first time I don't mind. I think. I've never been on before. Um, Graduated myself. Who was your favourite too? Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as Tim said, there's our October graduates. Um, well thank you all for the all hard work that you're doing, for keeping us updated with how you're doing. If you need any help, you know where to find us on social, uh, on social. Instagram. We are on social. We are on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, emails. Wherever you want us, we are here. And if you come to Jacko's house, if you want, this is it. This is <laughs> hot round kombucha. Yeah, kombucha. Um, That's it. Yeah, he's lost me now. Tell him something about the virtual classroom. If you want to go on and check out the virtual classroom, if you also want to enjoy uh, everything that we've got going on in, in the School of Calisthenics, it's all in there. And you could also then be one of the graduates because the classrooms in the virtual classroom are going to show you exactly what you need for you to redefine your possible, whether that be a muscle-up, back lever, human flag, or just mastering your own body weight. You can start over with, with the free beginners program, if you want, just exactly. to be your first pull-up. It's all in there, and you can go and find that at classroom.schoolofcalisthenics.com. Thank you, please. Until next time. Want to read you another story? Class dismissed. <laughs>